But a lot of people constantly, it's a lot of negative people out there. And a lot of people don't care about your livelihood. They don't care about the sacrifices you've made to get to this point. They are just, you know, they ride with what they know and who they like. Most time, and this is just life, most times, people, if they admire someone or respect someone, if they say something, they take that as face value. That's understandable. But my thing about this situation with Elliot, keep in mind, I'm not even coming on here about me because I'm a very, very strong individual. And it takes a lot to knock me down. And even if it knocked me down, nine times out of 10, you won't know it. But I hate when people bully people that don't have the ability to fight back. For Elliot to have to leave Twitter because constantly, and this is not what I heard, this is what I've seen, constantly someone saying something negative to her or about her or about the situation of what they heard and what they think. Hey, baby, how you doing? And what they think. I think that is just so disrespectful to the art form. Keep in mind, everybody want to be great. Everybody want to be recognized. But most people that join the Drag Race franchise, it's merely to advance your livelihood. And I think if you are a true fan of Drag Race, if you are, and it's not about me. I'm an older entertainer, so Drag Race to me was just another notch on my belt. Um, I did not go there to win because I'm still dealing with the after effects of my cancer. I don't, if you notice, I don't make excuses. I don't complain. I don't put it in the atmosphere. That's not who I am. I just deal with it and go on. But when you have someone, a, a young entertainer, that's trying to make it. And keep in mind, keep in mind, that's just trying to make it in this art form. Elliot is a really good entertainer, a really good entertainer. Now, is she young minded? Yes, because everybody don't know how to enter. Like everybody does not know how to interact with the other race. And I'm going to call it out because <laughs> I never see it. Some of them girls on that show were some mean girls on that season. Some of them girls on that season were some mean girls, and they stuck to their lie. And I'm saying it. I'm not scared. They stuck to their lie about Elliot. And I'm a, the comment that was made when we first got to, um, what was it, the pork chop room, whatever the room was. <laughs> the comment that was made was, because I don't say anything. I, don't, I didn't know any of the girls uh, other than Lala. But the comment that was made was from Elliot was Gottman. Gottman is on the show. And the other girls was like, yeah. She said, but isn't she trans? And they were like, yeah. And she was like, oh, that's all Elliot said. And mind you, it wasn't the whole cast there. It was just a couple of us there. And people took it and ran with it. She didn't say anything negative, but I think people forget we were the season that had the first actual trans I'm just going to leave it at tra trans on the show of that type. And I say that because it, it shocked a lot of us. But did nobody really care. I don't know how to problem with it because everybody was there mentally ready to fight for what, you know, whatever they wanted. And that was the only comment that Elliot made. Now, she has been tricked into other conversations to say certain things. If you know Elliot, Elliot is a go with the flow type of person. You know, whatever the conversation is, she is going to be part of the conversation. She is a little, and I am not going to say she's little. She's younger than me. So I, I look at her as my little sister. Um, but Elliot is a very young individual that just wants to be appreciated. Half of the time when we take part in these shows, a lot of people don't know our background. You don't know what we come through. You don't know, I mean, you don't know where we come from or what we went through to get on the show. Even with the girls of these, you know, the seasons that have come after us. Our season was a very diff difficult season because we were in a pandemic. We didn't get um, the appreciation that other seasons have gotten because you know drag race is supposed to be the home of elevation even if you go home first you still walk away with something but to know and i'm putting it out the only two people that did not get an agent from that season was elliot and myself i couldn't do much and i wasn't doing much anyway so i wasn't mad about that but at, at the end of the day a lot of these girls made money off of lies 
that they told. And they stuck together along with the other pro young producers, you know, that were rooting and pulling things for them. So everything has a reason um, to exist. All I'm asking, and I'm not even asking because it doesn't matter now. Elliot is fine. I'm glad she left Twitter um, because I would rather her have her sanity and be able to continue the art form that she loved instead of being um, mistreated. I'm not one to mistreat people. I'm not one. Um, Elliot makes, it's not, but let me explain to you. So someone just stated that Elliot has made a lot of transphobic and ignorant comments. So have a lot of other, other girls on the show, but I don't see where you are actually tearing them apart. Even got me has said some stuff, but I don't even I don't even see record of it at all. So it's a tip for tat. Don't don't just tell me one person's fault when all of us had fault. All of us had fault, including myself. So at the end of the day, she never caused anybody any harm. She never caused anybody any drama or trauma. So to, for anybody to always stand up and say, oh, well, Elliot did this and Elliot did that. They all did something. Trust me. They all did something. And like I said, including myself. Mine was just filmed. <laughs> but a lot of things that took place were not filmed. So I'm, I'm just saying that because in this lifestyle that we are a part of, it is already a difficult lifestyle. Baby, I'm not going to tell you what God me said. Call God me. And, you know, and that's not me being rude, but I'm not that, I'm an older person, so I'm not a messy person. I didn't come on here to be messy. That's not who I am. That's why I wasn't on the show long, because I didn't, that's not my goal. My goal has always been, I've been in this game for 30 plus years, and I've always tried to take the worst of the people and make them their very best. I show them that, you know, you can be a better you. You know, so I'm I'm not a messy person. That's not that's not what I'm here for. All I want to do is just make people aware. Because a lot of times people don't understand or know what their actions has done. You know, to know that we all were on the show, and at this very moment, certain girls are millionaires and certain girls are still in the same situations. You know, as they started, that's just not right, and that's just not fair. So my thing is, I don't have. If you don't like her, that's fine. But that is somebody's child. Just like you are somebody's child, that is someone's child. And until you've had a conversation with Elliot to know exactly what transpired, I think it is very less than to always make assumptions. So the reason why I started my radio show and I'm starting my, my, um, my morning show is to have certain people on just so you can hear and ask questions in person, I like to get to the source. I want you to have the information that you need to make the right decision about people. I just, it bothers me because she is an amazing person. Do she have her, her shortcomings? Yes, she does. She really does. You know, Elliot, um, there's a lack of love and appreciation there. Nobody has ever taken her serious. She fights daily. You know, if, if, if anybody that knows Elliot um, or I've seen her, she just want to be a part. She just want to be a part. She went on the show to better her livelihood, and it backfired. I think um, Drag Race has some weird producers that don't care about the girls. Not all the girls. You know, they, they care about the ratings, but they don't care about the girls. And that's my biggest problem with the situation is the fact that somebody has to care about the girls. And I would hate for Elliot to take her life and everybody be on here saying, oh, Elliot, uh, <laughs> did she call Simone ghetto? No, baby, she didn't call Simone ghetto. But Simone stuff was ghetto at times for the purpose of the challenge that it was. She didn't call Simone ghetto. I mean, that's the thing that I'm talking about. She never called Simone ghetto. That's not it. And even if she did call Simone ghetto, what's the problem with that? If you call me ghetto, that's not going to define me. That's just an opinion. So all I'm saying, guys, is um, that's why I'm making these posts, because I hate anybody. I don't care if it's just, I know Elliot, so that's why I defend Elliot. But it could be anybody. I would still defend them. If you notice, I don't come on here to defend myself, because I'm good. I am good, you know, and I want everybody to understand I'm good. I'm still 
like I said, dealing with my um the past results of my counseling situation, I still have my ostomy bag. I still never got, you know, none of the perks that the other girls did. And guess what? I'm still not mad because I am Tamisha Iman and I've always made a way. I've existed for over 30 years and I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing until I'm out of here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I just want our community because we are part of this community. We all are part of this community. And even if you're not part of the LGBTQ plus community, you know, everybody deserves the respect. I never want to see anybody so depressed to where they take their life. I never want to see that. And, you know, I'm, I'm, if you notice, I didn't get on here and tear anybody in particular down. I didn't call any names. That's not what I was here for. I just want to make the community aware that words matter. You know, if you didn't, if you don't like certain people, you don't have to follow them or support them. We do understand. But there's a lot of blackballing that goes on. And what did the girl just call it? Um, <laughs> the council culture. Um, and I would just say this, like, I try to treat people like I want to be treated. Yeah, I just got into it with this queen that was reading, but you know, you can't hurt my feelings because I was on the show. You can read me about the show all day long. I was on the show still. The world know who I am. I only know who you were. So that's why I read you because you don't get to come on and say in and everything to me. We're not friends like that. I'm never going to put my next step in a position to where I'm going to say in and everything to anybody. And you don't get that. I don't care if this is a social media platform, you have to have the quorum at all times. You have to let people, you know, be themselves. But you don't always have to post a negative comment because you're a negative person. Because positive people don't post negative comments. They post inspiring comments. And they want people to know that they are, you know, they're appreciated. All I ask is that just think about, guys, this new, and we got a whole new season coming out. And I can't wait to really get into it um, to really see who the girls are and what they're about. Um, but at the end of the day, um, and, and I'm doing a review on the, the new season of girls, cause I do know a couple of them, <laughs> but trust me, my review is going to be totally different. I don't want, ever want to tear anybody down. That's not my platform. That's not who I am. I always want to show the best of people, um, the most positive side of people. And at the end of the day, we're not all going to be millionaires, but if we can all be respected, then I feel like we all won. That's just me. Um, and that's pretty much it. I just wanted to actually come on here. <laughs> A lot of you are making comments. Oh, uh, well, no. <laughs> Don't talk about um, Yeah, I just wanted to come on here and um, express that because somebody was like, well, you always, um, what did the guy say? He said, um, he said something pertaining to I always come on here and I'm ranting and saying something. But guess what? This is not happy times for everybody. Certain girls are happy and life is good. And certain girls are still fighting to get to the top. So I don't want my little sister to come up missing or to take her life or any of you all to take your life or something to happen to you because other people's words. Words do matter. Um. I feel like as a community, we got to do better. And if nobody ever said anything, nobody going to really know how people feel. So I just want to express that. Um, thank you. I just want to express that. Um, I'm, once again, we will always be Drag Race um, alumni. You know, some go to the top, and like I said, some are still struggling. The one thing about this franchise that I admire is we all are girls from the community or some of us are girls from the community that deserve the platform and appreciate the platform. You know, I understand life is about ranking who's best, you know, to worst or whatever the case may be, but we all are human. And I just want people to take in consideration that, you know, you don't always have to say what you think. And, and a person like me, not going to let you get away with it. Because I, I, if I can't do nothing else, I can read. We can go back and forth for hours and days and weeks and months. But uh, that's not the objective. So I just wanted to put that into the atmosphere so y'all won't think I'm crazy about all my posts. But it hurts me because the fact that this individual has done none of what has been said about her. You know, everybody how she's a racist, but 
She's my good friend. I'm just this black from the hood. <laughs> so I know she's not a racist. Uh, can I say she just said some stuff out of her mouth? She has. She she and it's not even ignorant. Ellie just don't know sometimes. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? She just don't know sometimes. But she hasn't said anything to that magnitude that them girls lied on her about. And yes, I said them girls lied on her about. You know, sometimes you gotta you gotta really pay attention to because if you notice, a lot of people ain't in group, but you have to pay attention when girls group up to defend certain situations. There's a reason. And, you know, you expect these girls. So you're going to, you know, take their word for face value until someone comes along and say something, you know. And if you notice, once again, I haven't called anybody names because I'm not targeting my comments at anyone. I'm saying season 13, the girls, whomever they are, that put out that Elliot was a racist lied on her. I'm saying because that's not who she is. And that's just, you know, that's the bottom line. That's not who she is. And for the community that this lady has worked so hard to be a part of, you know, this show ain't an easy show. <laughs> Trust me, if it was an easy get on, everybody would have been and made it. Everybody don't make the show. You know, it's hard. Everybody don't make the show, but the people that has taken the time to, to make the show to get on the show to better their livelihood or attempt to better their livelihood deserves our community respect regardless. It was a time when drag queens were, and it, it seemed like people are trying to make us evil and, and demons still to this day. For me, drag is about love and celebration. I, I don't mind arguing with people, you know, if, you, if I'm challenged, but that's not what it's about. It's about fun, good times. I remember back in the day, um, people used to come to the club because we didn't have a lot of places where people could go and be themselves. So you come to the club to just express yourself. You know, if it's through dance or even if it's through supporting the entertainers that's doing your favorite song, you never know what a person is going through. You know, that's what drag is about for us. It's about entertainment. But at this point, it's about making a living. And so many of the drag race fan base has gotten Elliot bookings canceled. They don't even, you know, she she works hard. Don't get me wrong, she works hard. She works hard. Elliot would try to do a booking <laughs> in your living room if she, if she could. But, you know, it's a difference from one girl making $300 and another girl on the same season making $5,000 per number. You know, that's just, that's it's hard out here. So all I'm asking is just taking consideration of people. We are still human. We are not perfect. I don't expect you to be. But um, the love can go a long way. So I'm being the Tamisha that I've always been. I'm the type of person. I don't like confrontation. But at the same time, if we can resolve certain issues, um, I think we should. Even if you didn't follow Ellie. I'm not saying, oh, go follow Ellie. I'm just saying that there's a lot of the fan base that has taken... <clears throat> what she has rightfully earned away from her. And that's not fair. That's not fair for anyone. I wouldn't want nobody to do it to you. And I don't want anybody to do it to her. So as my little sister, I don't mind defending her. I'm going to defend her. And sometimes I have to let, <clears throat> you have to let people know their actions and the causes of their actions. So that's why I came on here. I've never done this before, guys. Um, I hope this message was received, was received in love and appreciation because that's all I meant. I didn't want, you know, it's not, to come on here and fight with anybody and tear anybody down. That's not who I am or what I'm about. Um, I may be wasting my time. I do agree. But at the end of the day, it's my time. I do agree. You know, and I'm talking to the masses. The thing that I've learned over the life is the fact that just because people don't show up doesn't mean they're not listening. Just because people don't make themselves visible to when you're doing something does not mean they're not listening. The thing about it is as long as the message gets out there, you've done your part. And that's enough. <laughs> that is enough. So enjoy the rest of your evening. Um, Merry Christmas. Late to everybody. Um, happy holidays. My show starts um, January 2nd, which is actually Monday. I have a morning show from 6 to 10. I go live for the first hour um, on YouTube, Facebook, and probably Instagram. So you can catch it there or you can catch it back on YouTube later on that day. 
I'm trying to see the comments before I get out of here because I don't want to be rude. Um, what am I missing? Anything? Yeah. It, does anybody want to ask me something while I'm here so we can get a better understanding? No? Yeah, no, no. I don't see any. <laughs> what we got? What we got? What we got? I'll show up. Okay. Thank you. No I appreciate that. It's not okay for her to call someone ghetto. It's not okay for a lot of people to say a lot of things. They've called that, that lady white trash. They've made comments to her, we hope that you die. You know, people have told me they hope that I die. So it's not just that comment. It's several comments that's, that's, that shouldn't be made. You know? And, and how are you going to tell a black person it's not okay to, tell some, to call somebody ghetto? <laughs> if you act in ghetto in that moment, you're a ghetto. <laughs> ghetto is not the same as the, the n-word so tr trust me it's okay to call somebody ghetto <laughs> yeah it's okay to call somebody ghetto what am I missing I'm trying to get it all y'all I'm sorry <laughs> oh Now that is true. They do want the world to change. They do. They, they do. They do. They do. I want the world to change, but I don't expect that. I just want to be respected and I want to do what I always do. I respect people. Why can I get this to this next level? What is this? Okay. I just... Nevertheless, guys, um, thank you for tuning in. Um, I'm so grateful. Don't get me wrong. I've been trying to do this a lot more, especially after my show. Hey, I see a lot of famous people in here. How you guys doing? Yeah. Okay. Let me get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Once again, y'all, thank you so much for tuning in. Like I said, I just wanted you to express that because that's just too much to type. I don't have, I don't have the time to type all that. Take care. Happy holidays and see you Monday. <laughs> Bye.